Unlocking the meaning of time to burn. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning channel. Today, we're diving into a fascinating English phrase, time to burn. Understanding this phrase is not just about adding new words to your vocabulary. It's about grasping the culture and nuances of English-speaking communities. Let's explore together what it means, how to use it, and some examples to help you sound like a native speaker. Time to burn refers to having more free time than you need or know what to do with. It's when you have extra time on your hands and no urgent tasks or responsibilities to attend to. This phrase often implies that someone can afford to waste time or use it leisurely without worrying about being unproductive. The phrase, time to burn, might sound straightforward, but its usage is deeply rooted in the English language's idiomatic expressions. It reflects a situation where time is perceived as a resource that one can either use wisely or waste. In English-speaking cultures, time is often considered valuable, so having time to burn can sometimes be seen as a luxury or a rarity. To help you understand how to use time to burn in real-life conversations, let's look at some examples. I finished my work early, so now I've got some time to burn before my next meeting. We arrived at the airport hours early for our flight. Looks like we have a lot of time to burn. Since I have time to burn this weekend, I might start reading that new book I bought. When you say you have time to burn, it's important to consider the context. It can be a casual way to suggest that you're open to suggestions on how to spend your time, or it might simply be a way to express that you're currently not busy. However, be mindful not to use it in formal contexts where the value of time is emphasized differently. And that's all about the phrase, time to burn. We hope this video sheds light on how versatile and interesting the English language can be. Remember, learning phrases like this one can add depth to your conversations and help you connect more with native speakers. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to bringing you more insights into the English language. Happy learning!